On today's show, Ford comes out with a performance version of the Edge. Nissan and NASA are developing autonomous technology, and GM is jumping into the medium-duty truck segment. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. You know, autonomy could be one of the most transformative technologies to ever hit the auto industry, and that's why everyone is getting in on the action. We've shown you autonomous solutions from Volvo trucks to past AutoLine dailies, but those have been demonstrated in confined areas. Now the company is ready to tackle public transportation. Volvo Buses just partnered with Nanyang Technological University in Singapore to test two autonomous electric buses. One will be used in Singapore's new test facility for autonomous vehicles, and the second will be used for tests in the bus depot. The cooperation is already underway and will last for two years. The goal is to start using them in Singapore in 2019. And in related news, Nissan and NASA are expanding a research and development partnership. Last year at CES, they revealed a new platform to manage autonomous fleets based on NASA technology. And now they're working on self-driving mobility services, including creating a working prototype in Silicon Valley. The technology is being developed for things like ride-hailing services, public transportation, and delivery services. And you know what? It's not just automakers working on autonomy. Boeing just revealed an autonomous electric drone prototype for cargo delivery. Developed in just three months, the VTOL, or Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, is powered by custom Boeing batteries and is capable of carrying up to 500 pounds. And if you'd like to learn more about these types of aircraft, check out our AutoLine this week that takes a deep dive into the subject. Just look for the link in today's transcript or in the description box below. Still to come, Ford creates an ST version of the Edge. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Daimler is expanding its cooperation with a company called What Three Words. If you haven't heard of What Three Words, the startup has divided the entire world into 57 trillion squares that are 3 meters by 3 meters or nearly 10 feet by 10 feet and has given each square its own unique three word name like red, blue, purple. You know, it's a far more accurate way of determining your location than using just a street address. So let's say you were going to the gigantic Las Vegas Convention Center for CES and wanted to get picked up at a particular entrance. With what three words, you can be pinpointed to within 10 feet of that entrance. You can see how this would be helpful for taxi and ride hailing services, and especially for emergency vehicles. Mercedes will be the first automaker to incorporate what three words into its navigation system. It will be featured in the automaker's new infotainment system called Mercedes-Benz User Experience, that debuts in the new A-Class. You know, Ford Performance has turned out some pretty sweet machines, and now it's getting its hands on an SUV for the first time, the 2019 Edge. Falling under Ford's ST brand, it will feature a version of the 2.7-liter twin-turbo V6 engine tuned to put out 335 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque. The standard 8-speed transmission and all-wheel drive system can be paired with performance brakes and a sportier suspension setup. You'll notice unique styling inside and out on the Edge ST, but actually all Edge models will see a light refresh for 2019 as well. The grille is wider than before, the front and rear fascias have been massaged, full LED headlamps are standard, and the redesigned center console now features a rotary shift knob. Look for the new Edge to come out later this summer. Coming up next, General Motors has let Ford get away with murder in the medium-duty truck segment, but not anymore. 
Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. Ford sold nearly 74,000 medium-duty trucks in the U.S. market last year. Ram sold 17,000. Chevrolet only sold 2,000, and that was the Isuzu design low cab forward truck, or LCF, that is actually manufactured by a company called Spartan Motors in Charlotte, Michigan. And it's amazing that General Motors and FCA have let Ford run away with such a profitable part of the truck market. At least Ram has medium duty and chassis cab trucks to sell. Chevrolet has none. That's going to change. Chevy just announced it's going to unveil class four and five chassis cab trucks in two months. It will offer regular and crew cab models with either two or four wheel drive. Called the Silverado 4500 and 5500 HD, they'll come in a variety of wheelbases and gross vehicle weights. They'll be powered by Duramax diesels and Allison transmissions. Ford still has a bigger lineup, including class six and seven trucks, but at least these new trucks from Chevrolet get it back in the game. Speaking of heavy duty trucks, Ford is getting sued over allegations the diesel engines in its F-250 and 350 trucks are deliberately designed to exceed emission regulations. The lawsuit accuses Ford and Bosch of coming up with software that allow the engines to exceed pollution limits. The lawsuit was filed by Haggins Berman, a U.S. law firm that specializes in class action lawsuits. It has also filed diesel emission related lawsuits against Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, FCA, and Audi. And a programming note here, Autoline After Hours will be off the air today as the crew gets back from CES and gets ready for the Detroit Auto Show. And with that, we come to the end of today's report. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.